Welcome to Crescendo TV. We're hanging out with Go Radio. What's going on, guys? I know you guys released Close the Distance in September. How have the fans responded to that so far? Really good. Yeah, yeah. really yeah. amazingly well. We were kind of nervous at first because it is it's a lot different than Lucky Street was for us. Mm -hmm. You know, both uh, both you know, genre-wise and and content-wise and everything, the the band in general changed a lot. You know, for us personally, and uh, you know, we we were kind of kind of worried about what our, our fans that were just into the really fast stuff was yeah. going to say. You know, yeah. but everybody's been incredible about it. You know, like it seems yeah. to be hitting home in the same way Lucky Street does, and you know, our fans have really pulled through and, and shown that they do care about you know lyrics, and and yeah, that's yeah. that's what they're there for is is to get meaning from what we do, and it's, it's, it's been incredible. Good stuff. Are you guys playing all new songs on this tour, or? No, we're Still doing, we're doing a pretty good, like, combination of the two. Uh, that was, that was the other good thing about doing the headlining run, which we were really excited about, just so shortly after Close to the came out, is because yeah. we were actually able to do a really long set and showcase a lot of these new songs live, mm -hmm. um, but also we, we have to throw in, like, the favorites, you know? You don't yeah, want to, yeah, yeah. I, I used to go to concerts growing up, and I'd, I'd, like, see a band that just put out a new record, and then they would just play, like, all their new stuff, and you'd be like, well, oh, I, I like those songs, but <laughs> I like what happened to that so one song? Too. Yeah, so we're, we're, it's like it's pretty half and half between our old material and yeah. our new. So I know that like the new record kind of has a different, newer, more fuller feel to it. Would you guys do anything different into this one rather than you know Lucky Street or Do Overs? Almost everything different. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, down to writing, you know, like we're used to you know one person working on, a, on an idea until almost fruition, mm -hmm. and then bringing it in and everybody just kind of twisting it around and. Close the Distance was very, uh, a lot more organic than that, I want to say. You know, we all just kind of sat around in rooms and, and wrote when we were all together. And, and uh, you know, down to recording it, we went in with uh, James Paul Wisner. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic producer, mm -hmm. an amazing engineer, and, and he actually mixed the record for us, too. But, um, you know, just, just the way we recorded it, you know, like uh, going in and, and we actually sat down and, and had an electronic drum set and demoed out songs with him mm -hmm. and would make changes before we would even lay, like, a single track. So... It was, good, uh, it was intense. Yeah? Yeah. I know, like, or at least it seems to me, there was, a, there was a lot more piano driven songs. Is that planned, or did you just find yourself, you know, behind the piano more? Just... It was a little bit of half and half, you know? Um, We've just seen, like, in, in previous material, like, with Goodnight Moon and, and certain songs like that, Why I'm Home, on our, our previous records, that some of those piano songs really hit home with our fans and were, were some of the fan favorites. So when we were Writing a lot of these songs, we, we'd start on piano yeah. almost naturally, and um, I don't know, that was, that was a really cool no, yeah, kind I of difference. You, uh, yeah, yeah. It's exactly, it just hits home. So I know you guys put out the new music f video for Go To Hell, and it kind of had that little comedy, bittersweet concept to it. Can you explain a little bit more about that, you know, just what went into that? Go To Hell is actually a feel-good yeah. song, yeah. you know, for us especially. Um, it's literally like, it's, it's not even like it's a, like a specific, like, this is for you. It's, it's <laughs> like a... This, this song is literally just saying like, look what I can be by myself, mm -hmm. you know, like I don't, I don't need, I don't need anyone, you know, backing me up, I, I don't need anybody pulling me down, you know, I can, I can do whatever I want to, you know, that, that's what it is for all of us, it's us going, you know, like, listen, we can, we can handle this, mm -hmm. you know, we can, we can do this stuff, we, we don't, we don't need help, we don't need someone, you know, bitching and complaining, yeah. we, don't, we don't need all those things, you know, like, we're, we're, yeah, the, we're awesome. <laughs> yeah. The, the okay, kind of, by ourselves. Yeah, the triumph of you know realizing in your head yeah. that you, you're gonna be fine. Like in that, in that things are actually better. Yeah. Once once you get out of that. So. And that's that's what we want all our fans to take from it. Is our fans to sit down and go, listen, we're awesome. Just like, <laughs> just like we are now. You know, like you don't you don't need just like you. You're awesome, man. You don't need oh, anybody so else to you. tell you Jesus. you're awesome. Oh, you should God. just know that. We'll tell you you're I'm, awesome, but I you didn't that need now. that. Thank you, <laughs> you didn't need that from us. So I know you guys have been doing like really well as of late. What are you guys trying to do to give back to your fans? Everything. Um, Constantly. You know, like uh, we, we are all the time trying to give back, you know, and, and feel like, like that's kind of a give and take relationship, you know, like we, we come out here and, and we play for our fans every mm -hmm. night, you know, and, and we give 100%. And, and uh, you know, that's, I feel like that's a good relationship. Yeah. You know, like they give 100% and we mm -hmm. give 100%. We also do a lot of, we spend a lot of time with our fans. I mean, not just on social, social networking and stuff like that, but, um, you know, when we, we, we're very interactive with our street team, people that are involved in that. We, we always make sure they get into the show without having to do anything, and, you know, we always spend time with them. We also always do meet and greets and things like that. Give, give an opportunity to, like, 
show that we're just normal people. Like actually yeah. sit down and talk to our fans yeah. after the show where there's always 20, 30 people that we just sit down and we just hang out with them for about a half an hour. You know, yeah. like we were once the kids looking to meet and greet our yeah. favorite bands at shows. And so to be in a position to, to also, to act as you wanted your favorite bands to act is, is a cool yeah, thing for all feeling. of us. Yeah. Right, if there was, say, a zombie apocalypse, who do you think would die in your band first? You. Probably, well, but Maybe I watch you. a lot of Walking Dead, and, and I don't that's know. why you would die first. Because it's, it's, it's too. It's too. You'd be the hero. You try and be the guy. Yeah, I try to. No, I don't know. I'd probably probably be me. Is it? <laughs> are you talking about crew and? Uh, I'd still be me. I die first. <laughs> yeah, whatever is with your band right now. But I mean, if it's just you, then it, it'd I'm be sorry, us. Man. Uh, yeah, probably be me. Yeah. Probably be me. Yeah. I'm sorry, brother. Yeah. He just threw you right under the bus. He's like, oh, no, I'm just this being, guy. I'm yeah. being realistic. Okay. Yeah. And that's all we ask for, you know? Um, yeah. yeah. Well, you gotta play to your strengths. Maybe fighting <laughs> off zombies might not be. But he did get me turned on to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, where we are shooting zombies. And on Warp Tour yeah, a couple we years good. ago, I played. We, we, we would just played sit and play. All day, every day. We just shoot zombies all the time to the point where we were like late for interviews. It was and epic. Stuff. Yeah. If, it was epic. That's, it's to say, like, if we <laughs> had more, it in the car, if we had it in the bus right now, we'd probably be playing it and you know, not even be doing this. Yeah. More, and more zombies died in the name of science for us. Then, uh, yeah. Also, boredom. Boredom. More boredom than science. Maybe a little both. <laughs> Lawrence. Lawrence. <laughs> to close off, do you guys have anything else to say to your fans? Uh, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, keep coming out and keep hanging out. Yeah, Go to Hell Tour's got about five days left, so I don't know if you'll see this, but we'll be back on the road early next year. Yeah. Um, some cool stuff. And Record Close the Distance is out now. Go to Hell is out. Music video. Um, but thanks. We are goradio.com. Yep. Sweet. Check for updates. Add me, at GoJason. At Alex Go Radio. Follow me, what's up? Follow me, us. Follow me first. Thanks for watching Persona TV. We're hanging out with Go Radio. Awesome. That was awesome. Yep. Thanks, guys.